Welcome back to this special edition of Hannity. An IRS whistleblower has reluctantly come forward with damning allegations about the DOJ's Hunter Biden case. I don't want to do any of this, he said. Still, he's coming forward because it's the right thing to do. And just like that, the media mob no longer reveres whistleblowers. In fact, they're now trying to bury this story completely. Watch. There is something personal that's affecting you. Your son, while there's no ties to you, could be charged by your Department of Justice. How will that impact your presidency? First of all, my son's done nothing wrong. I trust him. I have faith in him. And it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. But thanks to House Republicans, the whistleblower will be heard. His legal team says he spoke to bipartisan staffers from the Ways and Means Committee for six hours today. And here now with more is Fox News contributor Jonathan Turley. Uh, Jonathan, thank you. There's, there's a lot that's uh, very troubling about this case, but he did come forward. He did do an interview, and it was fascinating to hear what he said. What's your take on what's going on here? Well, this is seismic. You have someone who is a long-serving IRS uh, agent, someone who is uh, not a political appointee, who's coming forward and saying, look, I've had enough. That is, he said that when he was in this position, what he saw with the Hunter Biden investigation, he had never seen with any other case. And he said time and time again, uh, decisions were made that uniformly benefited Hunter Biden. That's troubling. And it gets even more troubling when he identifies the source of interference with the investigation, and that is the Justice Department itself. He says it was the Justice Department uh, that caused much of these concerns, but also, ultimately, it was the Justice Department that pulled the entire IRS team off the case. Now, that's worthy of investigation. We have now an expanding investigation into the influence peddling of the Biden family. The House just released information showing a labyrinth of accounts and corporations used to transfer millions to Biden family members. We now have heard from this whistleblower that possibly the Biden administration itself has been taking steps that benefit the president's son. That should be troubling to everyone. Yeah, but the lack of intellectual curiosity by the media, the fourth estate is just not there. I find it interesting that the White House makes the case that they will not comment on this. But in a softball interview, the president says, my son's done nothing wrong, signaling to the Department of Justice that my son has done nothing wrong. Attorney General Garland said there would be no interference. But you have a whistleblower who comes across as highly credible going on camera and now will be going yeah. before Congress and testifying that they did suppress him, that they did t dismantle his team, and that they did put pressure on him. And boy, look how fast they went after George Santos. They didn't have any trouble coming up with indictments on him. But Hunter Biden, it's been years. Right. That's right. Yeah, this would explain why it's taken so long, uh, because this whistleblower says they intentionally slow walked the investigation of the president's son. And the response of the Democrats to whistleblowers is really troubling. I've represented whistleblowers. And these are, are people who've come forward at great risk, including this individual. But the Democrats have had a scorched earth campaign targeting whistleblowers. The hearing in which they attacked these FBI whistleblowers was breathtaking. They've attacked journalists who've come forward just to highlight a censorship program. They, they, they questioned whether they were real journalists. The ranking member of that subcommittee suggested one of the journalists should be arrested. I mean, this is really turning into a sort of McCarthy-like period. And I think the public doesn't support it. The public wants transparency. They believe that corruption is something that should be investigated, including influence peddling. And so I think this is going to be a very difficult road to hoe for the Democrats when the public is very unified, saying that they want these investigations to go forward. Yeah. And remember when the attorney general Garland sent that multi-page uh, warning 
to whistleblowers about better make sure, better, better make sure you check with your officers there at the Department of Justice before you go see Congress. That was so fundamentally totally wrong. Put that on the list of other things that need to be rectified. Professor yeah. Turley, thank you. Appreciate you joining us. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.